Systems Modeling in Cloud Computing 1. Systems modeling involves creating a representation of a cloud computing system, including its components, interactions, and behaviors. 2. It helps in understanding and predicting the performance, scalability, and reliability of the cloud system. 3. Systems modeling allows for the identification of potential bottlenecks, resource requirements, and optimization opportunities. 4. It enables the evaluation of different system configurations and design choices before actual implementation. 5. Various modeling techniques, such as queuing theory, network simulation, and mathematical modeling, can be used for systems modeling in cloud computing. Clustering in cloud computing 1. Clustering refers to the grouping of similar resources or data in cloud computing. 2. It helps in achieving high availability, fault tolerance, and load balancing in distributed cloud environments. 3. Clustering can be applied to both physical resources, for example, servers, and virtual resources, for example, virtual machines. 4. Resource clustering ensures that resources are organized and managed efficiently to meet the demands of cloud services and applications. 5. Clustering algorithms and techniques, such as round-robin, Least connection and content-based routing are used for effective resource allocation and workload distribution in the cloud. Virtualization in cloud computing 1. Virtualization involves creating virtual instances of computing resources, such as servers, storage and networks. 2. It allows for the efficient utilization and allocation of physical resources in the cloud. 3. Virtualization enables the abstraction of underlying hardware, making it easier to manage and provision resources. 4. It enables the creation of virtual machines, VMS, or containers that can run multiple applications or operating systems on a single physical machine. 5. Virtualization provides benefits like scalability, flexibility, isolation, and improved resource utilization in cloud computing environments.